Fox Carolina First Alert Weather with meteorologist Chrissy Kohler. We've got another beautiful quiet day ahead for us, uh, but as you take a look across the southeast, we've got a few scattered showers here into northern parts of Alabama. You can see a little extra cloud cover as well. We're going to see some of that kind of roll into our area today. Still staying nice and dry, but getting a little better uh, coverage of the clouds, especially into this afternoon and into tomorrow. Another dry day, but looking ahead to the rest of the week, going to start to bring in those storm chances as we head into the day on Thursday with a cold front headed into the area. I do think that's our next best chance for rain coming into a little better focus with a better chance for storms on Thursday and then just that small chance for a lingering shower or thunderstorm Friday on into the weekend as that front just kind of hangs out over the area. So I'm going to jump ahead to starting off on Thursday morning. This is a look ahead to 6 a.m. when you see that cold front starting to work its way in and some scattered showers and thunderstorms starting to work their way into the far western mountains. We don't see a ton of activity throughout the morning hours, at least based off of these early runs of the short range models. So by 10 o'clock, things have really kind of died down, but then as we head into the later part of the day, working with a lot of the heat of the day there, it's going to be a hot one on Thursday with those temperatures getting in the 90s. We are going to see another round of some scattered showers and thunderstorms develop into the afternoon. It's still scattered in nature. Don't necessarily think you need to cancel your outdoor plans over this, but by about 2-3 o'clock, we start to see those scattered showers and storms, and it's going to linger on and off as we head into the evening hours, kind of dying down, pushing a little further to the east as we get closer to about midnight. And then we, again, keep that small chance for storms going forward into the rest of the weekend. The other big thing that we're paying attention to, of course, this week is the heat with temperatures running well above normal for this time of year. In fact, tomorrow that 95 is going to be about 10 degrees above normal. Today we're about 5 to 10 degrees with 93 and then we get those low 90s Thursday and Friday. It does look like behind that cold front we will get a small little dip in the temperatures and then headed into the weekend. We're sitting right about normal for this time of year. Today the normal daytime high is 86. By the time we get into the weekend, though, it's dropped to 84, so we're still a degree or two above normal for this time of year. As we head into the mountains, upper 80s to around 90 today, tomorrow, and into Thursday, then sliding into those low 80s again, right in the ballpark of where we should be for Saturday, Sunday, and Monday in terms of those temperatures. So today is going to be one of the hot ones. Temperatures running well above normal with those upper 80s into the mountains, 88 in Asheville, 89 in Hendersonville, even 94 into Forest City, 94 down into Spartanburg, as well as Union, with 93 in Greenville down to Anderson and 91 out across northeast Georgia. I think this morning we're going to see a, a good amount of sunshine with increasing clouds into this afternoon. Headed into the day tomorrow, partly cloudy into the morning with more sunshine into the later part of the day. And then Thursday again, we see that better chance for some storms comes into play. By Friday, we start to see that die down just a little bit, but I can't completely rule out something isolated as that front just sits across the area and then headed into this weekend. That's when we're going to start to see those temperatures moderate. We'll also start to see the humidity come back down. We'll get some more refreshing mornings going forward after a couple mornings that are a little bit on the warmer side.